Jubilant Life Sciences from the pharmaceutical pack is another company which declared its quarterly numbers. Joining us right now is Mr. Shyam S. Bharatiya, the chairman and managing director of the company. Just to highlight the kind of numbers that it did, declare 62 crores in terms of its profitability and 890 on the net sales number, which aren't comparable due on a year-on-year -year basis due to the demur of the business. Mr. Bharatiya, thanks very much for joining in today. Let's just talk about the kind of growth particularly seen in the life sciences products and the services business for the quarter gone by? Yeah, if you see uh, uh, for the whole year, uh, our net sales has gone up by 7%. If you don't take a one-time revenue of uh, H191, which we had in the earlier year, and our margins on the product business for the whole year has been very good at 22.4%. But what has muted our a whole year's uh, uh, EBITDA is that we had only 4.6% margin on the whole year. But if you see on fourth quarter, our margin on the service business was 10.3%. And going forward, we expect the margin on the service business to go on the higher double digit. And that would increase the total EBITDA of, uh, uh, of next year. Quite a robust increase in EBITDA. And uh, if you see our uh, prospects during next year is that we are commissioning many new plants and also expansion of the plants, which has a you know total r revenue generation at full capacity of about 1,200 crores, which will be utilized only in FY13 full capacity, but in part of the capacities will be used during this year. And we are also launching 55 new products, new launches, what we are doing. And uh, tw out of this, 26 launches are in case of solid dosage form and 19 launches are in case of API and new launches in case of product, proprietary products and exclusive synthesis. And the main growth we expect is likely to come from geographical ma market expansion. We expect Europe and Japan to grow at 40% mm -hmm. next year, 2012, and also double uh, by 2013. In, also in the emerging markets, the growth story is is uh, very robust. Mm -hmm. Emerging markets are likely to grow at F 35% right. during Mr. FY12 sure. and also double during FY13. Right. Uh, Mr. Bhartia, you, could you give us an update on uh, you know increase of pyridine capacity by 20% that you, that you were looking at and also you know pricing pressures that you could be possibly witnessing in the product business. Is that going to change anytime soon? We, we don't expect any pricing pressure in our product business. Uh, pricing uh, pr price of the products are quite stable, stable and we are able to pass on our increase in raw material costs to, to the customers. In pyridine business, we are, we are expect to implement 20% of the increase in capacity by, by the second quarter. And also, a com what is very significant is that we are commissioning a new uh, nutritional ingredient plant, which is a niacinamide in the first quarter in our SEZ mm -hmm. and also uh, we have uh, already commissioned a new pharmaceutical intermediate and agrochemical intermediate facility in uh, first quarter mm -hmm. in our uh, Ambarnath facility. So these, these, in, these capacity expansions and this is going to add substantially to our, our sales in the next year and we expect uh, right. robust sales growth and higher EBITDA growth, EBITDA margin or total EBITDA growth higher than the sales growth margins. Mr. Bhartia, with respect to the FCCB repayment obligation of $202 million, if you could just tell us that's due on the 19th of May, how are you looking to meet that and give us an indication of how the interest costs are likely to impact? Yeah, uh, a good question because we already have a cash of 1,046 crores. And that cash, part of the cash will be used to pay this $202 million FCC obligation, which is on May 19th. So we already have cash in hand, and this cash will be used to pay the liabilities. During next year, we expect the interest cost to go up slightly because of the uh, interest on the uh, FCCB loans, what we'll be clearing off. Secondly, the overall interest cost is going up also uh, uh, in the marketplace as you know that the banks have increased sure. the interest rate so we, we expect the interest cost to go up uh, during the next year sure. all right mr bhartia uh, thanks very much for joining in uh, congratulations on the numbers there the market's clearly giving it a thumbs up there and also the fccb payments they said they have cash on the books and no worry on that front as well 11 percent higher for a jubilant life all right.